Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video I am doing a bit of a collaboration with my good friend Parasol Mushroom. We have decided to do a scribble challenge and we are drawing from the same scribble, so here it is. I used Jezza's RD Games app to generate this scribble and yeah, it's a pretty awesome app with lots of little art challenges, etc. Anyways, I decided to test out a few different sketches and I came across the idea of having this scribble turned into a unicorn and yours truly riding on the unicorn. To be honest, um, I'm actually very happy that how um, I ended up getting the scribble into uh, an illustration. First, I was thinking of having it like uh, a person holding a cup of tea and the two little squiggly lines coming up would be some steam. But I couldn't get it in a way that it looked, you know, passable. So I decided to scrap that idea and then I thought to myself, the, the squiggly lines look a bit like a tail. So then that's how I got the idea. Now, for this illustration, as you just saw, I am actually not drawing this on Expressive Blending Card because I just got a new mixed media visual journal and I've been so excited to use this kind of paper because I've really been wanting to combine my Copic markers with watercolour. Now, as I was inking it onto the piece, well, not exactly inking because I am using a pencil to line this artwork. I wanted it to look a little bit softer and not not so hard lined and I thought the texture of pencils did very well because to be honest I'm so glad that I used pencil in this piece because it kind of just gives it a, a different effect. Now the person who I am collaborating with is called Parasol Mushroom and I love their videos like they do, they do videos similar to me they do speed paints and little challenges and all that kind of awesome arty stuff I'm so glad that she decided to collaborate with me because yeah I, I was actually the one that asked to collaborate and I'm so glad she said yes so after you finish this video definitely go check out her video and her channel and subscribe to her because they deserve a lot more subs than what they have. <laughs> Anyways, for this piece I decided to colour the figure in with my Copic markers and I used a few different colours in the mane and the tail. And then I also used a uh, mostly pale pink for the unicorn's body. I've actually really been wanting to do a unicorn artwork. Uh, last month was June and I was planning on doing a unicorn piece um, which is a bit like Inktober except instead of ink and October it's unicorns and June. Actually I probably should have like compared that to Mermaid. Oh well. Anyways, um, <laughs> but I messed up that piece I, uh, and I decided not to do it because eh, once I mess up a piece I don't feel like redoing it so anyways um, I'm so glad that I ended up being able to draw a unicorn after the fact because I've really always been wanting to draw one <laughs> um, yeah and I'm so happy with how this turned out because it just has a little bit slightly different effect to it I wanted it to be a bit more cartoony and like, you know, less detailed in a sense, but still like good looking, if you get what I mean. And yeah. Now, this drawing is obviously of myself riding a unicorn. So yeah, I ended up doing a purple shirt and jeans and some little red Chuck Taylor shoes. Now I don't own red Chuck, Chuck Taylor shoes but I own blue ones but I've always wanted red ones so I decided to draw myself with red ones. And now I'm just using my little gas and food a pen just just only for the eyelashes of myself and the unicorn. And I really like that that's the only part in the whole illustration with black because I don't know, it, 
it's it has a very soft feel to it and it's very light and happy and colorful and kind of carefree and I think that is a really good feeling for this artwork and now for the fun part as you can see I've laid the artwork down and I put some masking tape around the edges and that's just to hold the paper down so it doesn't warp and move around and it also gives it a little bit of a white border now I was very nervous with this um, mixed media paper because it's not as thick as my watercolor paper but to be honest it it held down very well to the watercolors like I put a lot of water on that piece and yeah it, it stayed quite flat it did warp a tiny bit but no worse than my watercolor paper and yeah I really wanted to have like a simple purple patterny and later you'll see starry background to go with my unicorn because unicorns are majestic so I wanted a majestic you know pretty background to go with it and yeah I really love the effect of the watercolor wet on wet look it I don't know it just has a bit of magic to it and I really wanted that to show through in this piece because well you know unicorns and like magic so yeah and I'm very happy with it and it kind of just went really to plan really <laughs> um, a lot of the time like a uh, watercolor won't exactly work out how you intended it and that has happened to me in the past but this time it did really well and yeah And now after I added all the purple, I decided to just go back in and just do a little bit of a glazing layer um, on some parts of the piece with just a bit of pink, just to spice it up a little. Because sometimes I like to have more colours in the background. And now I am just going around the outline of my artwork just to solidify the line art with the pencil that I used. And by the way, I did use a Prismacolor premier pencil for the lines so yeah you would be careful when using those pencils with the Copics because the Copic markers can smear them a bit but I was very careful and yeah turned out good and as you can see I'm using my hair dryer to dry the piece as well I find that useful when I want a, a watercolor to dry quickly especially when I'm doing a glazing layer or something where I don't want it to run and the final part of the artwork is the stars. Now I used my white gel pen just to go over the whole piece with lots of stars because I wanted this to be super cute and happy and you know what what doesn't go better together with um unicorns and galaxies. That's kind of like the perfect like match. <laughs> so yeah, and this is the piece that is almost done. And yeah, make sure you go uh, check out Parasol Mushroom's uh, video. She's doing the scribble challenge the exact same as me, the same scribble. And yeah, I can't wait to see what she does with it. And now I'm just taking off the tape and signing the piece. And yeah, I really love taking off the tape. I find it so satisfying with that nice clean edge. And now here is the shot showing off the final artwork. I am so happy that Parasol Mushroom decided to collab with me. And yeah, this has this artwork is turned out so much better than what I thought it would be. To be honest, scribble challenges are a bit, you know, scary for me because, well, <laughs> you can't always get it to work with a piece. But this really did work and you, you can't even really tell that it's a scribble challenge, to be honest. So yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day. Go check out Parasol Mushroom's video right now. And I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.